How valuable can a 2014 quarter be? A regular quarter struck for business use, for everyday transactions that you see in your change. In which quarter? The U.S. Mint struck five different quarters that year. Let's talk about all of it right after this. How much money do you really have in your pocket? A $204,000 penny found by a teenager. A $10,000 coin found in a Cheerios box. And an $18,000 penny found by one of our viewers. Got coins? JB Coins Inc. on YouTube. Daily videos and free giveaways. Join us today. Hey YouTubers, this is J and B. In this video, we will talk about 2014 quarters. Are they valuable? Are they rare? Well, we'll tell you right now that 2014 quarters are worth great money, but you need to know which ones to look for, and that's what we plan to tell you now. The quarters struck in 2014 are part of the America the Beautiful Quarters program, which started in 2010 and will end next year in 2021. They have George Washington's portrait on the obverse, but obviously different reverses. Now the US Mint released five different quarters that year. Great Smoky Mountain National Park. This park is located in Tennessee. Shenandoah National Park, located in Virginia. Arches National Park. This park is located in Utah. Great Sand Dunes National Park. This park is located in Colorado. And the Everglades National Park. This one, of course, is located in Florida. All of them are regular business strike quarters and were minted in the Philadelphia Mint, the Denver Mint, also, the San Francisco Mints, which produced circulation strike quarters that year too, with a regular finish. However, they were sold only for collectors, directly from the U.S. Mint and not released into circulation. The San Francisco Mint also struck that year proof quarters with a proof finish. They too were sold to collectors in proof sets and silver proof sets. Now the quarters struck in 2014 do have low mintages. Not as low as the quarters struck in 2013, but still they're very low. The Great Smoky Mountain, for example, struck at the Philadelphia Mint, has a mintage of only 73 million quarters total. Now, about the most valuable of them, and we will talk about a few of them since quite a few are worth great money. The most valuable quarter from this year is the Everglades National Park quarter struck at the Denver Mint. The mintage of this quarter is 142.4 million. They will all bear a D-Mint mark. The Everglades National Park quarter is the fifth of 2015 and the 25th overall in the America the Beautiful Quarters program. The Everglades National Park is the largest subtropical wilderness in the United States. These quarters were launched into circulation on November 3rd, 2014. They were designed by Joel Iskovitz and sculpted by Joseph Mena. The reverse or tail side of the Everglades National Park quarter features an anhinga with outstretched wings on a willow tree, with a roseate spoonbill visible in the midground. Since they were produced for business use, they don't have any special finish, just the regular plain finish we see in everyday coinage, in use in everyday transactions, and sometimes in your pocket. The highest grade known for this quarter as of the day we are shooting this video is MS69. It's a very high grade. This quarter, in grade MS69, sold at auction 
for $5,995, almost six grand for a quarter. It has a Mac sticker on the slab and a DMPL finish. This coin is in super high grade, and for those who are new to the hobby, the highest grade on a regular business strike coin is MS70. So this coin is almost perfect. So it is a very high grade coin, but also it's the only one that's graded MS69. We will talk about other coins in the same grade from that year, but they will have lower value because more of them exist in the same grade. So the population, like we always say, has the biggest impact on any coin's value. The next very valuable 2014 quarters are the Arches National Park quarters from the Philadelphia and Denver Mints. The Arches National Park quarter is the third 2014 dated coin from the America the Beautiful Quarters series and the 23rd out of a total of 56 quartered scheduled and had a circulation release date of June the 9th, 2014. It was designed by Donna Weaver and sculpted by Charles L. Vickers. The reverse or tail side depicts delicate arch a 65-foot freestanding natural arch. The LaSalle Mountains are also visible in the background. The 2014 D quarter struck at the Denver Mint has a mintage of 251 million, the highest mintage among all the quarters struck in 2014. This quarter will bear a mint D mint mark and it's in MS69 grade. This coin sold at auction for $4,500. Wow, another amazing value coin. Now, the 2014 Arches quarter struck at the Philadelphia Mint will bear a P mint mark. And the Philadelphia Mint struck 214 million quarters that year. Also, a large number for coins struck in 2014. And in the same grade, MS69, this coin sold at auction in March of this year for $2,795. Also a very nice bit of money for this coin. As for coins from the year 2014 in lower, but still nice grades like an MX, MS68, well, they sell on average for a couple of hundred bucks with the exception of the 2014 P Shenandoah quarter. The minage of this quarter is 112 million and only one coin was graded MS68, none higher or finer. So the super low population makes this coin valuable. And this coin sold at auction for $1,020. Now just as a comparison, the 2014 D Arches Quarter in the same grade MS68 sold at auction for only $250. Of course, the population makes a huge difference in their values. So never look only at the coins grade or mintage. They're important, but the population ultimately will determine any coin's final price. If you're planning on looking for coins in very high grades, you will need to search uncirculated mint sets or rolls of uncirculated quarters. Both you can buy on the secondary market with a small premium. You can also buy rolls of uncirculated quarters if you're just looking for quarters. This way you should pay less than for an uncirculated set and may just be what you need. We do it more often than buying mint sets when looking for quarters in high grades ourselves. Bottom line is, look for them, search for them, especially the ones we presented to you in this video. If you really would like to learn more about other America the Beautiful quarters worth really good money, please watch our short playlist dedicated to them that's linked in the upper corner of this one. 
you might be nicely surprised how valuable some of these newer quarters really are. And a question for you. Do you collect America the Beautiful quarters? Many of our members have sent us emails saying these coins got them into coin collecting. How about you? Please let us know in the comments section below. We read all of your comments. We also would like to say thank you to all of our JB Coins Inc. members. If you'd like to become a JB Coins Inc. family member, please follow the link below this video and join. We greatly appreciate it. So we hope you liked this video and found it helpful. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe so we can create more videos for you. Also, please remember to hit the little bell and set it so you'll be notified whenever we upload a new video or do a live stream. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.